This is the sunrise coming over Acadia National Forest in Maine. It's about 6.10. The sun just came up. Some other people out here. This is here, drinking coffee. It's a very rocky coastline. There it is. So we are hiking up Mount Cadillac, Cadillac Mountain, in Acadia National Park in Maine. We're almost to the summit, but this is just amazing. You can see the ocean from about all different sides. And there's like a lake on top of the mountain and during the hike up the water is just like you're basically following like a small mountain stream and sometimes it's a waterfall on the way up but this is all ocean and Leslie's here enjoying the view I think that's the summit up there, so we have about another mile to go. But already you can see just the open blue ocean. That lake is pretty cool. So this is Sand Beach in Maine on a very foggy day. Leslie's walking around the rocks. It's kind of chilly. September. I'm going to try to find some sea stars in the tide poles. There's a few people out here. Very foggy. Some big pine trees all around. Interesting thing about the beaches in Maine, they look so nice, but nobody swims in them because <laughs> I think the, the ranger told us on the hottest day it actually reached 100 degrees one day this summer and the water only got up to like 53 degrees. So she said she saw a few kids in there, but their lips were all blue and they were shivering. So the beaches are pretty, but uh, nobody really gets in. At least longer than a few seconds just to cool your feet maybe. It's very foggy, you can't see very far out there. It's a nice beach though. Let's see if we can find some sea stars. You find anything? Huh? Oh, uh, here's some people going in. And looks like they're running back out. Let's see how long they stay. Oh, they're doing good. They don't look too happy. Yep, they're running back out. <laughs> it's like the polar bear club. Don't think I'm gonna do that today. Maybe next time I come to Maine. Really pretty coastline though. 
with all these pine trees. You find anything? It is morning and we are at Acadia National Forest doing some hiking. It's really cool. Kind of overcast. Well, the trees don't let in much, much light, but it's just old fir and hemlock trees and lots of moss and ferns. And we're scouting for mushrooms. Just walking along this trail. It's so quiet though. There's we've seen a few red squirrels, tiny red squirrels. And we're always on the lookout for moose, but I don't think they live anywhere near here. But just a lot of moss and lichens and different kinds of mushrooms. We actually found some edible mushrooms on some doing some hiking yesterday. Found some chanterelles, a huge patch, but we didn't really have the equipment to take it back to our campsite unfortunately which is really just butter and a pan to cook them in I took a lot of willpower to let those be <laughs> so yeah Leslie really she really thought about it it would have filled up like a whole bag at least but it's really pretty back in here kind of spooky It's mid September, so all the crowds of campers have gone. And now it's just us and a lot of elderly people <laughs> in RVs and things, so it's really nice here. I always have advice for you on how to set up things and where to go. <laughs> so we're going to go to the one of the local rock beaches and maybe do some tide pulling for an hour or two and then we're headed down or we're headed west but we're gonna stop in Vermont at the uh, Ben and Jerry's there's some more mushrooms Ben and Jerry's for some ice cream and then visit some friends in Pennsylvania look at that guy he's orange and that's the plan but Acadia National Forest is very nice Especially this time of the year. And here at this campground they do like nature talks at 7.30 at night. And a really nice amphitheater. And the campsites are nice here too. Anything you want to add? If you want to shower make sure you bring lots of quarters. Yeah it's quarter shower so it's like. I learned yesterday that I really only need four minutes to shower. I didn't know that before. But you get four yeah. minutes for two dollars. And then you have to make sure you. <laughs> when it doesn't have a timer, so it's just you gotta kind of guess, and that's after you have the water at the temperature you want. So that's so exciting. Bald. I was bald like Jesse, but so those are the things we've learned, and we really enjoyed Acadia, and we'll probably come back someday. <laughs>